Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. This is a Chromebook 14 G4 that we worked on uh, last time and we diagnosed that BQ chip should be replaced despite communicating when the charger is plugged in, plugged out, but I concluded that because it was not generating signal and um, the voltage on the gates of those two MOSFETs was low. So I figured, you know, let's replace the chip. Unfortunately, I couldn't use this one because this one's for P-channel MOSFET and here we're using N-channel MOSFET. But I ordered one from uh, Mauser. It's like four bucks, something like that. And I was getting ready to resolder it. But then I figured I never checked um, those two MOSFETs in a resistance mode right and these are those two right so this first one is n channel and it opens and opens first right we got like one 1.6, 1.7 mega ohms on it, right? And the gate of this one is connected to the gate of this one. And this one is showing 30 ohms. So that's, that's not good. That's not what you want to see on the MOSFET. So now either the MOSFET is shorted, which is most likely or the other side of the MOSFET, which is our BQ chip, and that controls it, is shorted. And now this MOSFET is, um, let's see, this is our MOSFET 7408 which is 30 volts on uh, drain source and 20 volts plus minus on the gate. And it's this MOSFET over here, right? So we get 19 volts over here, a uh, high signal over here, which at the moment we have about two volts. So the MOSFET is not opening. And then we go to the second MOSFET, the gates are together and finally to our current sensing resistor and we supply these MOSFETs and usually these ones are that are shorted uh, usually these one get get shorted so I checked these ones but I never checked this one <laughs> um, I mean I did check it and um, or maybe um, there's another test actually which is pretty cool um, actually, let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a short on this capacitor. So once I short this capacitor, I will basically short the gate with the drain. And that should give me 19 volts over here and 19 volts over here. If I get no 19 volts over here, that means one of these MOSFETs is not... Uh, not conducting, not opening. And I did that and indeed I still get like two volts over here. So I'm almost sure that this MOSFET is at fault here. And so I have another MOSFET. Um, so this one is from the other board. It's a different MOSFET, but uh, let's do scope and camera, no actually camera only so this is another board and um, this one this this MOSFET let's uh, see under the scope so this is our equivalent of the MOSFET on that other board right our big MOSFET here and our small MOSFET here but this one is B20 P03 that means it's 20 volts is that it's uh, 20 amps, 30 volts, and P channel. So this one will not work. That's why uh, this BQ chip that we have on this board, um, it's over here somewhere. Yeah, 
this one and this one works with p-channel MOSFET now uh, let's move over here these are the MOSFETs that are powering up the, so this is our equivalent from the other board we have no schematic or no board view for this one uh, but as you can see it's so similar that it's just the arrangement is different and these are two n-channel MOSFETs and we know they're n-channel because it says B20 N03 N03 n-channel 03 meaning 30 volts and 20 meaning 20 amps and we can confirm that um, over here right uh, gate source voltage 20 volts here gate source uh, or um, gate source yeah plus minus 20 volts and uh, breakdown voltage drain source breakdown voltage 30 volts so it's pretty much exactly the same um, the only thing is the 12 and 9 amps that we push here and here we have continuous 18 11 so this one can't push as much current as um, as the other one as the one we we replacing but it's good enough to test the laptop and then I'll just um, then I'll just order a proper one and now this uh, this fault because uh, I jumped into conclusion that let's replace BQ chip more of a as a mean of uh, diagnosing it but uh, as I even stated always check the the passive components around it uh, because this chip will not turn on if it detects shorted MOSFETs I don't know how it does it but this would definitely qualify as a shorted MOSFET or the other the other possibility is that the chip itself is shorted that is also possible all right let's get it resoldered turn it on and see if the problem went away
Alrighty, looks like it was indeed a MOSFET. See, I jumped uh, on this idea of replacing BQ chip um, because it made sense. But I guess now it makes more sense that now the chip just willingly wouldn't supply wouldn't supply a uh, signal to the transistors and wouldn't supply power to them because the short was detected. I'm not sure how exactly that short is being detected by the chip, but indeed this wasn't a dead short. So it was like 30 ohms. That's why, probably that's why I was getting weird voltages here and there. If it was dead short, I would be getting 19 on over there. And I was getting uh, like two point something. That's why I thought uh, that the voltage on the on the source is the same, pretty much the same as on the gate. Then, you know, obviously it's not turning on. But no, that was that was wrong. That that works for bipolar transistors, not for not for MOSFETs. So no, that was um, that was a wrong diagnosis. But the process, you know, my advice still stands. Um, if you short the battery, short the pins, and the laptop starts, that means the entire problem is on this side, right? And the laptop, as you can see, is capable of working even without that chip even present. Because it, it's just powered by either the battery or the, or the voltage or the, the charger. The other thing that should have pointed that it's not the chip was that it detects the charger. So it is communicating. So it's very unlikely that it is uh, that it is faulty. However, if only you have a short or just a pin and responsible for uh, turning on these two MOSFETs or, or uh, cycling these two, is damaged then you know the rest of the chip is going to work fine but just it's just not never going to give you a, a signal so they can break like that there is an internal circuitry in it and only part of that circuitry could be um could be faulty the chips doesn't necessarily always um go dead entirely pa partially they can be working that's why i was thinking replacing that mosfet is a way of confirming whether that is the problem but it's much easier to just check that mosfet so pro tip always check the mosfet before you replace the bq chip all right thank you very much guys for watching this was a successful repair not many of these on my channel huh <laughs> i will see you guys in the next one